All right, so it is January 4th, and uh, this is Miffy 2 3 so far, and I need. Uh, I decided to make a video because, uh, in case I do something sketchy. Yeah, I'm filming this at like 4 a.m., so if I sound tired and dead, that's why. First things first, um, this is the back um, gearbox. Um, you just got two motors here and then two motors there. How it works, uh, all the motors are geared together on 36 tooth gears, but if I undo this, they go into uh, this final 36, which then goes into a high strength 36, which then goes into a 60. I don't know if I should be switching this out for high strength stuff. Uh, if I do clear, this is gonna be more of an issue. If I don't, I pray for the best. And then that goes from 60 to 60, into sprocket, into wheel. All of this is bolted together. So there's um, four bolts in this gear. Two of them go into the sprocket because they hit the spokes. Two of them go all the way through. And then there's zip tied to the spro uh, spokes of the wheel. Um, then at the front, same thing, you've got uh, this sprocket here, and then it's got bolts going through the wheel spokes. So that's that. Our batteries are mounted back here. Like, this is gonna have to change. It's probably just gonna, I, I don't know. I don't know how to do the wiring for the battery yet because I don't want it, so like another robot come in and pull this out, but I also don't want it to be chewed up by gears. Like on the other side, you can see it's like in the gears. So maybe move this out a bit and then License plate so it doesn't flop out. I don't know. Um, front of robot so far. Uh, here's the intake. So it's just got doubled up bars because I'm paranoid that something's gonna break it. I'm not gonna have time to fix it. Uh, this is just cut one mile that we had before. Using full two by didn't clear when we climbed, so that's why we're using one by L. And then that this is like our stepper bar. Uh, this actually works nicely because the ball can come up from here and it gives it that much more contact with the first sprocket and then it just goes in, into the second sprocket which is pretty cool now the second sprocket it's got these steel bars i use steel because i didn't want to screw up my aluminum bending it and now it's probably gonna stay steel it doesn't matter anyways because we got that much weight in the back oh these we can probably move forward onto like here later or like here i don't know um, this is on box bolted C channel. It's at, acting as the second cross brace for the entire robot, basically. Uh, this thing doesn't do much, and that thing also doesn't do much. So one of these stays and one of these has to go. This one's probably gonna go, and then I'll probably make this one a bit longer so I can zip tie the metal together over here, um, just to make sure it doesn't flex as much. Because this right now is because it's spaced off in an odd hole, it's just zip tied together, and I don't know how much that zip tie's doing. So one of those will go, and one of these will stay, but this, this is super cool. Like, can I keep this? Like, this is super cool. Mm -hmm. Like, it, mm -hmm. I can hit people here and not break my battery. So, we'll see. Um, but anyways, intake, yes. Uh, these are just standoffs, so these are two inch and then six inch, and then that just goes straight into the plate. Uh, the plate is just kind of bent back there for the standoff to fit and it does work like you can see the ball does go up It does if, Hold on uh, If I keep this sprocket spinning it will go up, but right now it doesn't want to keep spinning I cut myself on that piece of metal um, Maybe friction mounting will make it go a little bit faster And then up here we've got two bent bars for guides ball comes up Okay, it's not working right now. No. So friction mount will be put on, I guess. Yeah, it worked before. I don't know why it's not working now, but I'll fix that. Into bars and then plates. That will get cut somewhere and then it'll turn into a flywheel hood. I don't I don't know. These will probably get moved into here. I don't know how far these have to be for this type of tension. So there's gonna be like four or five holes cut in here and then like three holes cut in there. So that goes for the flywheel tower to go all the way up. I might move this out and then have the fly tower go this way. I have to play with around with that. Um, but the intake right now is on cantilevered shafts. Which I don't know, I don't know how you're supposed to do it. 
I know you're supposed to use screws, but my screws always have big friction, and I need shaft on the side anyways. So that's that. These are two six inch standoffs. Um, there's a sharp metal plate here that I just cut myself on. Holding this together. I don't know why this plate keeps these two standoffs together a lot better. No idea. But anyways, this one my L here is like the minimum clearance we need. So that's basically everything has to be above that. And that was there when I built it for referencing for size. So like if my robot comes up here, if I just tie this back. When my robot goes to climb. That's the like farthest forward or back that it can be uh, for it to clear. So I just have that there and now it's also there and it's just kind of bracing the standoffs. I guess if I took it out, it'd be fine. But you know what? I don't want to leave those standoffs flopping around, I guess. that Because they, they are leaning into that one by L quite a bit. Like I can't pull them out. So that's that. This is the new aluminum. It looks like steel. It's really weird. I think that's all like scratched, so it's interesting. Okay, flywheel towers. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to brace them. We just have like a C channel up front, going into thin, spacers, C channel in the back. Like, that seems solid to me. I don't know if, if I'm overdoing it or if I'm underdoing it, but yeah. These can probably go on pillow bearings, although I might need to mount stuff to here later, so I'll see. These can definitely go to pillow bearings, and then the index will probably just be an 18 tooth here. Fill out goes up here, hood goes up here, uh, and hopefully we're in size. It's really weird having a wide robot. And we tried putting tracking wheels back down in here, um, but I'm, I didn't build them very well the first time, so I have to rebuild them better. And that is that. Please don't, please, please don't. Oh yeah, mm, yeah, this is the thing. <laughs> Um, when we first built it, somebody did this, and now I'm gonna keep it because I don't want to rebuild my drive. So yeah.